Hey, it's Butcher and today I will show you ridiculous shotgun setup which will allow us to farm nightmare difficulty missions without breaking a sweat. You heard me right bastard, we gonna farm these nasty missions like there is no tomorrow. For example, we gonna complete bad seats in 3 or 4 minutes. So my first card in my deck is run like hell, really handy card especially at early stages. And if I have to be honest, I think shotguns are kinda made for speed run builds and that's the reason why my second card is rolling thunder not only you will receive extra shotgun damage but increased movement speed from using hip fire you are gonna use hip fire a lot with this setup and if I have to be honest you will never worry about birds doors cars or horse in general your movement speed is simply too much to this game back for blood will not be able to handle you and to make all things even worse i'm using mad dash card super strong card especially on nightmare difficulty and this game will struggle for real even these nests will not spawn correctly it will take some time for a game to spawn these nests so you can take your time and pick up mobs or players and they will fall but guys please remember don't invest everything in stamina from bottom of my heart i strongly recommend you to use stamina region cards if you will invest everything in stamina eventually you will run out of it and you know what it means you're gonna be cooked barbecue chicken style cook so guys please use regen and since we are using shotguns we need scattergun skills car this bad boy will give us reload speed and reload speed will directly increase your dps output. but like i said this game will struggle quite a bit to spawn those nests so take your time pick up your team members you will get more supply points by completing everybody together this level and of course this card is really really handy when you will use shotguns in general again damage boost and ammo capacity really really nice card and guys also you have to check what objectives you have during missions maybe you don't have to complete this mission with all cleaners alive then i recommend you to not waste your time simply do objective and you will complete this mission in maybe even two minutes so i am doing it in the chill way I'm sitting enjoying myself and having fun and uh, to make things all the better I'm using Olympic Sprinter for sprint efficiency reasons and again you are moving so goddamn quickly you are never out of stamina and uh, even if you will basically destroy it Regan is so overpowered that you will get <laughs> it back even by jumping really really nice build at some point you will be bored if you're gonna farm this mission or next missions in the same way with natural sprinter cart as well which will provide us by far the best stamina region in the game you will be bored because let's be honest next card is that charge you have to you can cheese your way through that mission and again one more example the game can't handle your speed game probably thinks that you're still there nearby bridge so <laughs> it will take some time <laughs> to cross the river again it's laughable but it is what it is i'm not breaking a sweat i think i haven't even received a damage during this playthrough but again it depends what your objective is to receive maximum supply points i can get easily 85 supply points in just a couple minutes by far the best farming method energy drink will give you that stamina which is kind of good and since we are moving that quickly you don't need that the damage or you don't have to worry about damage resistance of course by using pills we will increase our dps output really nice with shotguns and i'm using pills all the time during my run it will basically will, it will not take any time for you my mag coupler will give me extra reload speed and if you're gonna apply on your shotgun as well magazine size increased magazine size attachment with increased reload speed god damn you will reload your weapon so quickly you can use whatever shotgun aa12 it doesn't matter reload will be amazing and then i would recommend you to invest 
in your stamina, move speed and typical cards, but reload speed, shotgun damage and of course mobility is key in this setup. And like I said, after this mission, man oh man oh man, you have church where you can cheese your way through that mission pretty goddamn easily. Fleet or, or food will help you again, move speed, don't worry about the damage resistance, man. You will not take damage at all with this build. <laughs> <laughs> it's boring and after that mission you have tunnels again you can cheese your way through you can sprint to the nest immediately and then to the safe house you don't have to close those tunnels simply sprint to the safe house and that's it motorcycle helmet will give us damage resistance since we are not using aiming down sights ADS we are using hip fire really nice car to take or take out some of negative effects from previous cards where we are receiving the damage increased buff. Really, really, really nice card, guys. <laughs> like I said, it's super easy. Nightmare difficulty missions, especially these ones, are really nice for farming reasons. If you have these cards, make this deck and farm, open everything in the game. You can get those cosmetics, badges and so on this is full overview of on my deck or for my deck on my deck jesus christ i'm tripping this order is really nice but you can easily switch up cards in places you could use some weak point damage but i love raw damage guys so uh yeah maybe hyper focused will be a really nice card as well since we will not use downsides aiming you can use Hyper Focus for weak point damage, really nice card, but I think perfect synergy we have here between our cards, shotgun damage, and shotguns in general can take out zombies with one shot. You will be able one tap even with low level shotgun. Low level shotguns will one tap zombies. If you're gonna level up those bad boys, you will have god tier attachments, you don't have to worry about anything and of course you should use shocker if somebody will spit on you can i say this on youtube <laughs> you can free by you can free yourself you don't need teammates for that reason but you are moving so goddamn quickly that they will not be able to stop you but again i would recommend you this build for these huge missions where we have huge open areas where you can run around like a freak so in tight corridors uh, this build will not work so you have to switch some cards but in general guys if you want to close act one i would recommend you on your team two speedrunners one uh, demolitionist and one support player maybe healer you can carry your teammates through three missions seeds church and tunnels and last one is really nasty where speedrunning will not help you you have to launch those missiles you will fight orch at the end so you need support guys and i would prefer if on your team you would have demolitionists it doesn't matter they can die during these speedrun missions just carry them through the, through your gameplay to the last mission so you could complete act one thank you for watching and see you in the next one